you're watching this video, you probably already solved this problem. Well, here's how I did it. I started with the, the square and the circle. Well, this was very confusing because there are two different shapes. So obviously there were the two different numbers. They could have been nine plus one, three plus seven, or four plus six. So I went to the second part of the problem with triangles. The, they're the same shape, so they'd be the same number. So it was six. So then obviously I'd put three because half of six is three. So the triangle equals three. Then I went to the third part of the problem with a triangle and a circle. Now the triangle equals three. So, and I don't know what the, the circle is yet. So five minus what equals three? And the circle would be two because five minus two equals three. So we put two for the circle. And it's always good to write notes when you're doing a math problem. So then I go back to the first one. We already know what the circle equals, two. So that means that this would be eight. Why? Because 10 minus two equals eight. So now we know that a square equals eight. Hang on just a minute. 